Hi there, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for autism spectrum disorder. So what exactly is ASD? It includes several conditions that used to be diagnosed separately but are now put into the spectrum. Autistic disorder, uh, pervasive developmental disorder, or Asperger's syndrome. Um, and collectively, there is difficulty with communication and interaction with other people, restricted interests and repetitive behaviors, along with symptoms that hurt the person's ability to function properly in school, work, and other areas of life. How common is it? Well, the latest data we have shows one in 54 children uh, end up getting diagnosed with ASD. Now, because ASD criteria changed over the years, and now there's a compilation of the different disorders, it really is hard to compare historical data. We know it's four times more common in boys than girls. Most of the time, um, the diagnosis occurs in the first few years of life, and it has been reported in all racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups. So how exactly is it diagnosed? Well, it's not always easy. There's not a one specific lab test for it. It's usually a wide range of symptoms. Some uh, children have much less severe than others. And overall, it's a two-step process with the pediatrician assessing um, standard milestones on behavior, voice, sleep. And if he or she deems there to be a potential issue, then it'll go to a team of specialists, such as a child or speech pathologist, occupational therapist, neurologist, Overall, there needs to be problems with uh, two categories, communication and social interaction, and restricted and repetitive behaviors, uh, patterns of behavior. Now, there could also possibly be a genetic component, so most physicians will send a child for genetic testing. Now, first we'll talk about traditional treatments, then I'll delve into stem cell therapy. There isn't one standard conventional treatment, and there's no cure available. Treatment focuses on each child's specific needs, so it gets customized. It could be behavioral management, cognitive behavioral therapy, education and school-based therapies, medications, I'll show you in a second, um, customized nutrition, which can help, OT, PT, or uh, speech therapy. So the medication options are pretty broad. Uh, antidepressants may include SSRIs or tricyclics. This can help to um, modulate the child's uh, behavior. Um, sometimes they get aggressive towards themselves or others. Antipsychotics may end up being uh, necessary. Stimulants can be helpful, especially if someone has um, a child has ADHD uh, along with their their uh, um, ASD. Anti-anxiety meds can be very helpful along with anticonvulsants. There's a very high association with seizures in ASD, so those may end up being uh, necessary. So let's start talking about stem cell therapy. So treatments to date have focused on the use of multipotent stem cells, all right? And this includes mesenchymal stem cells or hematopoietic stem cells, all right? Mesenchymal stem cells, um, in, at least in our treatments, typically come from umbilical cord tissue and the Wharton's jelly that's in the umbilical cord. Uh, there's also hematopoietic cells in the umbilical cord blood, okay? We're not talking about embryonic stem cells. There's no aborted fetuses involved, um, no ethical issues, okay? Those are not used at all. The, the tissue that is used in these treatments comes from consenting donors after a scheduled C-section. There's no harm to baby or mother. There's no ethical issues, okay? Now, the mechanism of action of the multipotent stem cells that are used, uh, there's a variety of them. They help to reduce inflammation. They help to modulate the immune system. They help with new blood vessel formation. And most importantly, they help with cell-to-cell -cell signaling for reprogramming and pushing cells down a certain um, specialization pathway, okay, like neurons or, or whatnot. So stem cell therapy for autism is not a cure, all right? But as you'll see in the studies I show you, it can dramatically help. And we've seen in many cases at our center in Mexico that the results are astounding um, as far as behavior and communication skills. Recent evidence suggests that 
immune dysregulation and neuroinflammation play a role in the cause of ASD. And those are two of the main things that stem cells help with. Immune modulation, reducing inflammation. So um, stem cells are able to strongly inhibit certain uh, T lymphocytes and natural killer cell overactivation. They can help um, inhibit pro-inflammatory um, growth factors and things like that. So, you know, I know I got sp real specific there, but they help counter some of the problems that lead to ASD. Here's a study out of 2019, the World Journal of Stem Cells. Um, MSCs, mesenchymal stem cells, can be transplanted directly, either into an IV, uh, some providers will do it intrathecal, like into the spinal cord uh, sac, um, without genetic modification or pretreatment. What that means is you don't have to give immune suppression to a patient. You don't have to do blood typing or HLA matching, cross matching. That's not necessary. That's been shown many, many times over the years. And our centers in the U.S., as an example, have done over 14,000 procedures um, and never had a rejection reaction. Um, they don't cause tumors or uncontrollable growth. There have been several proof of concept clinical studies that have shown the safety of umbilical cord tissue and effectiveness in autistic patients or other clinical conditions of immune dysregulation. So just to reiterate, embryonic stem cells are not used in these treatments and neither are induced pluripotent stem cells. Neither of those are ready for prime time. They're still in the uh, research phases. Um, if anyone suggests those types of treatment at any particular country or whatnot, just run away. You know, embryonic stem cells have issues um, and they can cause tumors, they can cause immune problems. We don't see any of that with the mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells that we've been using for you know, quite a few years. So there have been excellent results to date um, in several clinical studies. We don't know exactly how the mesenchymal stem cells work. We know a lot of the functions that they provide, but as far as the nitty gritty, that's, a lot of that still you know, needs to be found out. But here's five studies that were done, um, and I'm not gonna delve into each one, but four out of the five, the patients did really, really well with um, umbilical cord tissue. And one study, they didn't get worse, it's just no improvements in symptoms, but all of them were very, very safe. None of these had significant uh, adverse events at all. Here's a study you may have seen before, it's called, you know, I call it the Duke University study, but they looked at 25 children using their own banked umbilical cord tissue, and when they got the stem cells out of the umbilical cord, they used very high numbers. For instance, um, if you do the math here, it's 10 to 50 million cells per kilogram. So let's say the child weighs, let's say, you know, 10 kilograms, just to make it easy math. 10 times 10 is 100 million stem cells. That's a lot. One of the benefits of being in Mexico is that we can easily obtain those numbers of stem cells for patients. And in this study, they infused an, in an IV the umbilical cord blood and it was safe. They didn't have any significant side effects. It was feasible. They had significant improvements in behavior um, for the 12 months they were following up these kids. And if you see some of the interviews with the parents and the kids, it's amazing, the results. And we see the same thing. So here's a couple studies. Um, on the left, we the authors proposed the combined use of mesenchymal stem cells and cord blood uh, to be useful in the treatment of autism. On the right, uh, due to the particular immune and neural dysregulation observed in ASD, uh, mesenchymal stem cells could offer a unique tool to provide better resolution for this disease. So let's touch on our autism treatment program in Tijuana. Um, our treatment center is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. We provide transportation from the airport uh, to the clinic and back, or if you come in, you know, the day before, we'll pick you up at whatever hotel you're staying in. Um, the clinic is, is very modern. It's contemporary. Uh, it's actually part of a surgery center, so it's really a clean environment. 
The process starts very straightforward with a free phone consultation with one of our licensed, experienced stem cell doctors who've done hundreds of successful cases. Um, the doctor will speak with, with the parents, um, look at medical records, and make a recommendation. And some of the recommendation will be based on the child's weight, okay? Um, and then the patient concierge representative will assist the family with all the travel logistics. We can help with the flights. Um, that's, you know, the, the financial responsibility of, of the patient's family, but we do provide that ground transportation and the representative will come with you uh, to the visits and the treatment as well. So let's talk about the cells for a moment. Um, we've been using GenCell. It's a lab out of Mexico City. They have a pristine safety record. Uh, we chose them for a lot of reasons, but one of them is that their quality assurance standards are actually more stringent than those of the FDA. They're very, very particular about how they obtain their umbilical cord tissue, the steps for uh, processing and culturing. You are allowed to culture cells in Mexico, so the lab does. They don't need any preservative like they do in the United States, so the viability of the cells is not 50, 60 percent, it's 95 percent. They don't culture past the fifth generation, which means that the cells are pure and very viable and active. A lot of international clinics will culture and culture and culture and culture, and after the 10th, 15th generation, the cells don't work anymore. So it's careful, you have to be careful when you look at that. We offer two options. Well, let me correct that. It's actually three options for treatment for, for patients with autism. The first is, they're both all inclusive, the first two. Um, it's a five-day stay, and the amount of total stem cells will range from 90 to 150 million, maybe 200 million, depending on the child's weight, and that treatment starts at 89.75. We pay for, we include your hotel, ground transportation, basically everything except the flight, okay? Um, now, the second option is sort of the same as far as high cell counts, but it involves four visits over a year. All right, some people prefer to get um, the total amount of cells, you know, broken up, and that's fine. Um, you know, we, we've seen great results with either. So, and once again, the cell totals are decided on by the child's weight. If you give 200 million stem cells on the same day, um, you know, it's not always the best idea. It's great to break those up either over a five-day period or, like I said, multiple times over a course of a year. Um, the third option is to come in for a one-time treatment, and that can involve either 30 or 50 million cells, and that is either uh, 29.75 for 30 million cells or 39.75 for 50 million cells. So it's very cost-effective um, as well. Over the years, um, in the U.S., for instance, we've done over 14,000 procedures in eight years. We've done uh, several hundred in Mexico. We've been featured in a lot of publications over the years. It's been fantastic um, to see the results that patients have, not just for autism, but, you know, in the adults, kidney failure, liver failure, COPD, um, COVID, you know, all types of different things at our clinic in, in Mexico. So to start the process is very simple. Please give us a call at 888-988-0515 or visit stemcellautism.com. Uh, that's a specific page dedicated to autism. Um, as you can see on these other pages, our regular website is stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. Okay, but the one dedicated to autism is stemcellautism.com. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.